Hi DF, why do you think games like Dragon's Dogma 2 can't run at 60 FPS on console? We're told it's a quote unquote next gen game and that it's CPU limited. But when I see games like Assassin's Creed Unity running on uh, Xbox Series X with way more NPCs on screen, a Plague yeah. Tale Requiem's perf mode with 300,000 rats on screen, or even the upcoming Kingmakers having 60 FPS as the focus, I fail to see where all the CPU cycles are going. Most of the NPCs in the cities of Dragon's Dogma 2, like Baldur's Gate 3, don't seem to be doing anything other than walking and standing. Wow. Uh, Alex, uh, you looked at Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah, PC. I mean, I, I'm going to agree with this person to a certain degree. Obviously, I think that they targeted 30 FPS a long time ago as part of this game because John played it. I don't remember how many moons ago and he was like already he already knew it looked like a 30 fps game back then um and well we haven't seen it too much uh, historically either way i think they targeted 30 fps for a long time uh but i think that they ran into issues at some point because not every game engine by default has like great like persistent npc support and they probably wrote a lot of stuff very specific to this project uh, it's not like they had like a MetaHumans AI manager or something like that, like UE5 provides. Um, so they had to make it for this project probably. And at some point they realized this, this to make our cities look like they're lived in with a lot of people, it takes the way, the way, the way we coded it. It's a little bit slow. <laughs> uh, so what do we do? And then like the, I really do think like it was an ultra last minute they can appear like they reduced the draw range on them to some ridiculous level to get the performance up because right now it is pretty comical when you play the game and you run through the city and Oliver showed it off in his video where you run into invisible people and then all yep. of a sudden they appear after you've oh, already hit man. them. It is so it's like so that to me because no one I don't think any developer of a game is like I think that's the visual quality we should attain. I don't think they would have wanted that uh, because they're competent. Look at the game. It's got a lot of competence written all over it. This is the one aspect to me that I think they ran into issues, performance issues based upon the architecture that they had made and they had to scale it back quickly before launch. And I think they're going to try and win it back over a certain amount of time. And I imagine that that'll get better over time. Mm -hmm. uh, if not, then it leads to a really interesting future for the game where uh, like in 10 years time, you'll play it and they'll have like magically appearing npcs even though you're cruising along at like 240 fps it's gonna look a little awkward and there's no way to scale that in the game options on console or anywhere um so yeah i think this this game is next gen for a lot of reasons rtgi is in there but i don't think the ai thing is like the next gen aspect of it to be honest with you <laughs> uh, john anything to add to that uh, I mean, Capcom has a good reputation for high frame rates in the RE engine, but this game is the first one they've made in that engine in this style with this large open environment and so many like NPCs. But I think, I mean, I assume it's the way they've implemented the, how the NPCs are coded and like what it means to the game simulation. Because uh, like one of the key facets of this game is that there's a lot of granular interactions possible with with actual like other models and enemies and stuff in the world, the whole climbing on top of foes and dealing with them and the way they do collisions. And I'm sure there's just some, they, they took, I think those types of NPCs and the way that the player can interact with them is probably more robust on the code side, but also maybe not as fast as it could be because you can do a lot of things on screen, but depending on how you're doing it, it can be fast or slow. Uh, and I feel like whatever implementation they have here, they it was important to them to get that sort of level of interaction and physicality and sort of collision quality. And I think it, they did a pretty good job with that, but it's obviously not fast enough versus, I mean, we all have to play Kingmakers when it comes out, but that was one of their big focuses is like getting this, how can they do performant crowds, but also find a way to allow like granular interactions like chipping armor and like breaking them down and having them react to the player which i think is also what dragon's dogma is trying to do they're just slower at it uh, uh so i think it's just that that desire for the way they want players to interact with the npcs and enemies versus what re engine has traditionally done likely created some sort of bottleneck issue 
I'm just them. looking at this quote from Capcom. In Dragon's Dogma 2, a large amount of CPU usage is allocated to each character and dynamically calculates the impact of their physical presence in various environments. In certain, certain situations where numerous characters appear simultaneously, the CPU usage can be very high and may affect the frame rate. Uh, for May, put Will, by the way. Yeah, this May. <laughs> that's that's the, the, the equivocation on some of this stuff is like not helpful. <laughs> uh, we are aware that in such situations, settings can reduce GPU, settings that reduce GPU load may currently have a limited effect. However, we are looking into ways to improve performance in the future. I think, you know, we're kind of going back to design targets here. It's not just the, C I mean, the CPU utilization is very high, right? But it's also GPU heavy as well in some scenarios. Mm. So, you know, ultimately the decision was made that, you know, the overall performance target is going to be in the 30 FPS region. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if it had a proper 30 FPS cap that functioned properly, that would, that would be kind of okay, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess yep. the issue is that even when you're playing on PC, there's there's issues there in the you know the most powerful CPUs on the market are, are barely getting you to sixty in these really heavy scenes. Right. Um, That's why I would expect any performance patch to take a while because it yeah. feels like they're going to have to do some pretty deep work in terms of how they're actually utilizing their resources to fix yes. this. Right. Mm -hmm. There's also quite a lot of what you might call emergent gameplay in Dragon's Dogma oh, yeah. 2. That's kind of what's really exciting about some of the stuff you see shared on social media. It's like, wow, this happened. And I suspect a lot of that is happening because of the, the more advanced CPU model, in which case you don't really want to stop that from happening. So, no. yeah, it's an yeah. interesting, interesting balance.